In 2018, we're starting to see the introduction and testing of 5G networks, which means gigabit. Yes, gigabit speeds on your cell phone. And I'm here to tell you why, why would, stop. So obviously there are certain benefits with this type of technology. They're developing networks that come from a cell tower, which will provide you with gigabit speeds on your phone or iPad. In fact, some people were even critiquing the iPhone 8 and 10 for not having the proper cellular chips that one day will be around when 5G is available, it will not be supported on the iPhone 10 or 8. Some people are saying that's a big issue that Samsung has the advantage of because some of the new Samsung phones have cellular chips that will be capable of doing 5G connections, but but I have an issue with this. This is a classic example, I think, of when major, major internet companies like Verizon or AT&T are focusing on something that doesn't really matter that much because of one primary issue I have. So obviously the idea of having a gigabit speed phone sounds really, really cool, right? You can download things, you can watch things, and it goes very, very fast. However, even when you have something like Verizon Unlimited or AT&T Unlimited or Xfinity Unlimited, once you get to 15 or 20 gigabytes of data use, they downthrottle you. you then go back to 300 kilobits or sometimes even less because that's 300 when you have five bars. And that's what kills me about hearing about this 5G technology about bringing gigabit to mobile devices is that aren't you just going to down throttle us after we get to 20 gigs anyway? That is the primary issue I think I have with most data plans. And yes, I know about T-Mobile. There are smaller companies that do not down throttle you and yes, have unlimited data. However, for someone like me who lives out in a rural area or does not live very close to a city, internet Internet companies like T-Mobile and Sprint do not do very well because they have such little coverage. We have so little bars in so many areas that it's almost pointless. It's like, yeah, it's cheaper, but if the speed sucks everywhere, unlimited doesn't matter because you're never going to hit that 20 gigs to begin with. So that's why basically everyone in my area either has Verizon or AT&T because that's really the only internet services that work out here. And we are a lot of the world. A lot of people are not living in cities. And even for people who are in cities, Verizon is still one of the most popular cellular networks and the fact that the standard with unlimited data right now is that once you exceed 20 gigabytes of data you get down throttled to under one megabit at that point what does the purpose of 5g serve the reason this is so frustrating to me and yes i know this is kind of a weird topic to be talking about is that i do believe we need massive massive service and hardware enhancements across all cell towers the fact that something is preventing verizon from letting us use more than 20 gigs of our hotspot or of our phone before they have to start down throttling like i assume that's because there's a limited amount of data that can actually send from the cell towers because obviously if they let everyone use unlimited data at full speed four bars 4g lte then their servers would get overrun or it would be more than they can handle or perhaps i don't know it is verizon they could just want more money that is always possible guys backing the pie i wish they would focus more on not making internet faster but just allowing us to use more of it for those of you who don't remember back before i moved moved into this office space here at Telosiv, I did not have Wi-Fi at my house. We're so out in the foothills that Xfinity is not available in the small crappy Wi-Fi package we could get from AT&T. Even the most highest top tier one was so sucky and it died all the time that the only thing I could do was use Verizon Unlimited. Back then, they did not down throttle you after using a certain amount of gigs. So on my hotspot, I uploaded videos. I did my live streams and I was averaging about 500 gigabytes of data used every single month. That worked for a little while, but sadly, right after I moved into this office, where luckily we can have Xfinity Wi-Fi, Verizon started being more harsh about those down throttle speeds. And now as soon as you surpass 15 gigs or 20 gigs, depending on which carrier you have, you get down throttled to below a megabit. And it's like the most crappy internet ever at that point, which really frustrates me because they still call it unlimited when it is definitely limited. I wish they would just call it the 20 gigabyte plan. After 20 gigs, your internet goes down. That would be more honest instead of just calling it unlimited. And while don't don't get me wrong, I really look forward to a future in which we can have gigabit levels of internet on our phones. My issue with that is what we do on our phones are never going to allow us to really take advantage of that gigabit speed. For me, as someone who has 250 megabits down and 30 up right now, which is pretty good, I get it, but not the best, having that internet is very, very helpful for being able to live stream or send files to people. Like as I'm filming
handling more advanced video equipment, the video file sizes I'll be sending to other people to edit or to upload to YouTube are going to get larger and larger. So the better upload and the better download we have, the more productive we can be. But that, of course, is all on desktops and laptops. That is not done on our phones. And if all of our carriers are mutually agreeing that after 20 gigs or so, you have to get down throttle again, it doesn't matter if that 20 gigs is 5G because you're gonna use that 5G on like watching YouTube or streaming Apple Music. And right now, I know I'll probably hate myself for saying this right now, but 4G LTE with most areas, three to four bars is just fine. You can watch 1080p at 60 FPS video just fine with 4G connections. You can stream music just fine with even lower 4G connections. It works flawlessly. So the difference between waiting for a YouTube video to load for one second versus a tenth of a second? Not really worth it, Verizon and AT&T. Why not focus more on letting unlimited plans actually be unlimited to the idea that if you pay for a plan that says there's no limits on it, you literally just have fast internet everywhere you go and there's no strings attached. There's not some data cap that ends up down throttling you. That's what I want them to focus on as they're revamping all of these cell towers and supposedly now working on 5G connection. Do not focus so much on speed because when it comes to smartphones and tablets, most people are doing Snapchat, browsing social media, watching videos, and listening to music. 4G LTE speedwise has got all that down. What we need is less limits. I would be fine if 4G LTE stayed the standard, but we then lifted the limits on all of that 20 gigabyte down throttling crap. Much better situation for me because then I could do a hotspot from my phone and let all of my Mac devices and laptops and stuff like that run off of the hotspot and not have to worry about it getting down throttled after a simple two minutes because if I'm uploading a high resolution video at 5G, it will not take long for that 20 or 15 gigs to be filled up. It'll be like that and then you're down throttled again. So it's almost like 5G connection would get you to the down throttle phase faster than just the regular 4G LTE connection, which is just hilarious to me. So what I'm hoping is I'm wrong about what's going to happen and that when 5G is implemented to cell towers, that technology will also make it more easy to use more data and not have more data limits. Like perhaps you'll get down throttled after a hundred gigs or after a terabyte once they make the switch to 5G. That's what I hope the future has in store for us. I know that 5G is actually quite a ways away, but it is just now recently going into testing. And the FCC is deciding on regulations and standards for 5G. All things that are obviously going to be good. I just wish that cellular companies would not focus so much on the speed and more focus on getting okay speed like 4G LTE, which which I still think is perfectly fast, make that available everywhere because there's still a lot of spaces where it's not available. And before you start focusing on gigabit speeds, you should make it available everywhere because people who would actually get any use out of 5G are so small. Whereas people who do not have good coverage right now would much rather prefer you focus on getting 4G LTE to the areas that do not have it right now and removing those down throttling caps. So those are my thoughts on the 5G networking upcoming. I think it's weird that they're focusing so much on that but not fixing the actual problem we're having. Let me know all your thoughts on the matter in the comments below. This is your Apple Ship here, and I will see you in the next one.